So we brew this to keep us alive because we probably drink too much beer because we're brewers. Yep. And drinking 3% beer, you can, you can get yourself a little bit further along that line. We like it because it's also kind of a slightly English thing to have really low alcohol beers with flavor. London traditionally has always been a beer city. It was very famous for London Porter. And over time, all these breweries have, have closed to being in a position maybe 10 years ago when there were only a handful of breweries actually in London. But since then, there really has been a, a resurgence. There's now over 75 breweries in London, and you can't walk down a street without seeing a really cool craft beer bar as well. So in terms of the London beer scene, I think no one really helped develop it more than Evan O'Rourdon at uh, the Colonel. And that's where we're going to head today. In terms of brewers around the world, I think he's probably my favourite one. A guy who is so passionate about beer and has built his company on a very steadfast ethos. Work with, within the community, dedicate your life to making beer a little bit better every time you do it. So yeah, we moved here six and a half years ago. So where you saw us when we first started, we had a 600 liter kit. Yep. So it was this you know, small, small little thing. This is, you know, I suppose it's kind of a medium size for, a, for, for an English brewery. And how, how many people on the team now? So there's 12 of us, and pretty much all of us take turns brewing. Okay. So we've got 12 different brewers here. So today Joby's brewing, you know, yesterday it was Jens. Yep. Tony's on Friday. So everybody, We'll do that, everybody will run the bottling line, everybody can drive the forklift, everybody answers the telephone, everybody can put together orders. You know. And so did you move from the 600 litre to this or did you have an intermediate no. along the way? It was just from there to, the, from there to here. Um, it's a big step up. It is, but uh, I mean a lot of the principles we kept quite the same. In terms of this is a completely manual kit. Yep. You know, it's an English sort of style system, single infusion mash tun, there's no, you know, there's no <laughs> ability to change temperatures, we, we can't hit different rests in, in the mash stage, we don't have any louder ton or any, any sort of mash filtration. So it's just nice up with gravity runoff, which is I think is where we're at now. Yeah, and that's one main upgrade. I suppose the old kit was running off electric elements. Yep. And then previously here we had a direct gas fired copper, which kind of worked, but it wasn't great. And now we have a steam jacket, which works quite nicely for us. And yeah, also makes cleaning a lot easier than, than when you're trying to clean electric elements. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Getting in there every day with a little scrubbing brush. <laughs> is, uh, we remember those days. Just like the bottling machine, we might give out about it most days, but it's just a lot easier than filling things by hand, which yep. is how we all started off. And actually, when we started, we did all bottles for a few years, just all bottles. So you don't even have the luxury of filling like, you know, a nice big keg, because it's much easier than filling lots of small bottles. Mm. Shall we try something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on a sec, I'll go grab some beers. Table beer. That's what we live on. So we brew this to keep us alive because we probably drink too much beer because we're brewers. Yep. And drinking 3% beer, you can, you can get yourself a little bit further along that line. We like it because it's also kind of a slightly English thing to have really low alcohol beers with flavor. I mean, you know, we don't do any cask beer. Yep. It's cask beer, what it's great for is just making low alcohol beers with, you know, full body and delicious. And it's kind of, yeah, this is sort of a pale and hoppy English cask beer, but just modified so that it works in keg and bottle. So, I mean, technically we mash this stupidly high. So the residual sugar levels are, you know, we mash it at 74 degrees yep. and it's got a 10, 15 finishing gravity. Um, so that's just body mouthfeel because for us trying to fit all that into a 3% beer is, I mean, you know. so it's quite, you know, for us, it's also quite geeky, you know, technically it's much more difficult yep. because obviously there's a lot of sugar in here that wants to be fermented and turned into more alcohol, but we don't want more alcohol. We just want the more flavor. Yep. So it's just for us trying to get that balance out into a, into a beer like this.